all right as i'm all right as i'm blowing this uh paneling off i'm also cleaning out the gutter right here that the uh roof edge tucks into so in this channel right here let's see if i can get a light on it it's quite dirty but more importantly you'll notice right there there's a weep hole so these are actually designed to get the water out so when people are concerned about water getting in the roofs on this roof edge right there i'm never honestly that concerned about it because it's basically going into a gutter which drains out i've actually drilled in more weep holes at the front and the rear to help let water out even easier just because uh, the design of the roof it comes over right here and this is actually below the ceiling line at this point so it's not very common for water to be able to get here back up the roof and into the roof ceiling all right but while we're down here we should also inspect all these extrusion uh, screws make sure they're not broken off because those do get broken they do get loose so this is the roof extrusion this is the sidewall extrusion they interlock together this molding goes over the top of this extrusion so you always want to inspect all the screws make sure they're not broken or loose so that's what i'm doing as i'm cleaning it just separates pretty pretty uh, cleanly at the foam uh, definitely don't be standing on the foam when you uh, take it off uh, mostly because <clears throat> there's the AC uh, duct in the, in the ceiling it runs a full length and right here too and the foam right there is probably about an inch thick so if you're standing on that foam you'd crush it and break it uh, and you don't want it to form the foam underneath anyways. first one's off you can see it separates pretty nicely this is just the uh coax pre-wire or wire to the uh, bedroom tv uh is romex to the bedroom tv and not sure what that 12 volt's gonna go to nice thing about winnebago's if you ever had a question you can just look on their wire it has a code on it and it tells you exactly what it goes to so this is J circuit jd2 now i don't know if i'm ever going to show anybody this but i'm just going to document it just so that even though it wasn't me <laughs> so this crack right there <clears throat> the ladder goes right here you can actually see the ladder mounts right here so all the times people coming up down ladders they've been stepping right here that's right where that ac duct is so that's the weakest part that's not a great place to put a ladder in hindsight but when we put the new lou on on and the new file on on that'll actually give it a lot more strength all right i'm just gonna be using this uh harbor freight 32 ounce uh, spray gun. Uh, I guess a life hack that you buy three or four bucks, you get a lifetime warranty on this. So even if it clogs up with, uh, I don't know, like glue, you get a new one. So that's probably worth doing it if you're gonna be using this thing. 
As far as uh, the paneling or the Luon's concerned, this is just that eighth inch uh, Luon paneling uh, from your local hardware place. They're calling it utility plywood, 2.7 millimeter, four by eight. So one of these sides is really smooth and nice, which is this side. And one of these sides has the, uh, the knots that are filled in. So obviously we want the, uh, the nice side up. So we'll glue the, put glue on the, uh, the bad side. Alright, so this is a contact adhesive, so that means we need to uh, spray both surfaces. So I already did the, uh, the plywood, so I'll do the uh, foam next and then put it up in place. Existing a straight edge, I'll use put it down and go from there. All right, so that's the first one. There's about nine, 10 more to go. Same thing over and over and over again. Uh, it's a little bit long on that edge. I'll just come back down the, the line once it's all put on and I'll cut straight edges with a saw real fast rather than trying to cut them to fit and not get them right the first time. The only other, uh, <laughs> the only other advice I would have is uh, the paneling that has holes in it, especially like sewer vents antenna and cable pass-throughs hold on to that so you can use those as uh, templates for where to drill the hole the next time all right whole bunch of the same thing repeat 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 So I'll cut this one next, it's 10 and a quarter. I just have to clean up this uh, edge where uh, it actually goes into frame right here. So it's stuck pretty well right there. Uh, and before I put this uh, paddock on, if you look on the, uh, the panel down there, the sheet metal, I've got to put that back down. Those are the, well, the rivets were supposed to go into it. <laughs> Looks like those rivets, yeah, the rivets missed that completely. Probably why that ladder always got loose. So uh, I'll pull these rivet heads out and then when I put the metal down, I'll put it here. All right, hope you guys can hear me. So I got those uh, pieces of galvanized uh, sheet metal off the old uh, roof. And um, they actually, these need to be on there for the molding that actually goes on there. So what I have are two more pieces right here that I'll put underneath the roof right there so, so that when we put the, uh, 
the rivets in for the ladder, it'll actually grab onto something underneath here, and then the entire deck will hold that down. The whole new deck is on. That didn't take forever. All right, as I step on the skylight, I almost die. So next step, I just have to uh, run a straight line, or a chalk line, cut the excess off, uh, do the same thing on this side. The original deck was always a little bit crooked, so I didn't trust any of these lines. So I figured I'd go a little over on each side. I set up the blade. So it's just cutting, so it should just be cutting enough to go through the uh, paneling and that's it. I'll set up the camera, but we'll probably just do a nice, cool jump skip. I'll do the other side real fast and then uh, we'll be ready to do it.